Bonjour, hello, hallo, 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 hallo. Ay, ugh, Swedish. That's not... Good thing this isn't a language video. This is a come with me as I try to accomplish three weeks of school in one and a half weeks. Not because I'm behind, but it, because I'm working ahead. I know, I know. Maybe that's a little bit weird for some of y'all, but at the end of February, which this video is going up after that, uh, I will be on a cruise in the middle of the ocean without internet. And even if I had internet, I would not be wanting to do schoolwork while I was uh, on a cruise with my legs kicked up or reading a book, you know, in the sun. I wouldn't want to do that. So instead, I am going to do the schoolwork that I would be doing during that week before and just just get ahead, you know, so I don't have to worry about it, so I can be done, and I'm actually going to just complete the entire class before then, because, like, why not? So, basically, today is Tuesday, February 13th, and I just turned in the essay for week five, and this is week five. Next week is six, the one after that, which I will be on a cruise for, is week seven, and the one after that is week eight. I am a student of CSU Global, which is CSU's online degree platform, and basically they have a couple of degrees for you to pick from, and then every course that they have and that they offer is eight weeks. They did a trial one that was four weeks. They sent me an email to see if I wanted to try it, and I was like, no. I, life's too chaotic. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks. Um, but aside from that one class, every single class they offer is an eight-week accelerated program. And so right now I am doing earth science. What degree am I? I'm a finance major, so I'll let you guess how much I love science. Not at all. And so in this vlog, I'm going to try and just take you through the next week and a half and show you how I work ahead and complete my classes at CSUG. So, what I always do when I start my classes is I take a piece of notebook paper and I write down every single assignment due the week, including the stuff I need to read um, and any other stuff that is in the week uh, course that I will need to accomplish because I'm just checking off stuff. It's so satisfying and so much fun. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, right now we are on week five and I just completed week five. I just turned in week five's essay and I have marked off everything on week five except my discussion, replos, my discuss my discussion replies because I can't do those until there's people to reply to and they're not due until Thursday. And today is Tuesday, February 13th. Just a fun fact. And so Tomorrow, I am going to start week six. Now, week six, week six, I do not have any major assignments. I just have to do two labs and readings, a mastery exam based off of the labs and the readings, and the discussion posts like every single week. So, on terms of like course load, it's not that much. And then week seven, I have readings, two labs, critical thinking essays and a mastery exam and a discussion post so that's going to be the biggest week um and that's actually the week i'm on vacation so i have to get that done and then right after that is readings discussion post and mastery exam for week eight so week eight week eight is a nice relaxing course load and i i just decided i wanted to show you guys a vlog of what it's like to be a online high school student who has a part-time job at a library and is getting ready to go on a vacation because why not? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with that. But yeah, that is the course load and I'm going to start tomorrow with week six. Um, and I'm hoping to have week six completed um, Wednesday, which is tomorrow, and Thursday. I work all day Thursday, which is different, but I have Friday off. So if I can we complete week six on Wednesday and Thursday, then Friday, the whole weekend can be dedicated to the massive amount of course load that is week seven. So I hope that made sense. I had a flashing battery reminder the entire intro, so I don't even know how good this came out, but that's kind of, I just, welcome, welcome. I want to make some more vlogs language-wise or school-wise, so 
well, let's give it a try. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow and give you an update on all I accomplished and whatever the heck else I do. <laughs> this simulation uses voiceovers. If you don't have audio, using the lab pad is an important... Perfect. Then let... The Earth formed about 4.6 billion years ago. So this is what the labs are done. It is a website called Labster. It is a more fun way to do the labs and I don't have to do lab reports. So if I don't have to do lab reports, anything is fine by me. Okay. So yeah, it's like a gamified version. I really enjoyed the first one, but now they're just like, there's something I have to do. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, I'd rather do this than labs in my kitchen and I have to write up like six page lab reports so this is a, getting a win a thumbs up from me so you just have to wait for it to load and they take about like 12 to 15 minutes to do one um and then all of my questions the mastery exam this little thing right here is based on whatever lab that you do and basically a lot of the questions in the mastery exam are questions that you're asked in the lab so they're pretty Hi there good to it's pretty good nice schoolwork quest time okay so i finished my test it took four tries basically with csu global for all of the mastery exams except one i had one where you only had one try, but most of the time for the mastery exams are like 10, 15 questions, you have unlimited attempts. So if you get a question wrong, you can just take it again until you get all your points. So four times to get 40, it's kind of a nice number if you think about it. And now I'm done with that. So what I'm going to do um, before bed is see what the discussion post is. If the discussion post involves like heavily reading and analyzing the required reading for this week, then I will save it for tomorrow. But if it is like the past two weeks, which were oddly enough, really relaxing and easy to do, and I really liked it, where you just have to pick from like a list of water bases on Earth and describe how they were formed, um, what the lifestyle, like what the, the eco life is, monetary sources, stuff like that, like I did last week's discussion on um, the, go the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> I was like, Guile? Great? No, the Gulf of Mexico. So that was like really nice to do. It took me like, I don't know, 25-30 minutes to get all the research and to put it up in a reasonable thing. But what I do is I read the discussion post and then I write it on my tablet so that I have it with me when I do the readings. Now I used to do the readings before I did everything else. But when I have discussions and especially when I have essays, I actually do the labs and the mastery quiz first because if there's a lab, it's going to relate to the mastery quiz. So while there's going to be a few questions that do relate to what you read, because of the labs, you can basically gather all of the, in the needed information in your lab. And plus you have several attempts at the quiz. So if something comes up that was in the reading and you haven't done it yet, you're like, Okay, well now I know to look out for that when I do the reading. So that's kind of what I do just because I like to split up all of my assignments into chunks that I can do in a specific time for a specific study period. So today's, tonight's chunk was two labs um, and a mastery quiz and maybe a discussion post depending on what it is. But that was tonight's chunk and I will just have to tomorrow do the readings which I don't know how much there is but when I first started doing this there the first couple weeks there was like four hours worth of content to read and consume and I was doing that reading before I did everything else but now it's like an hour two hours of reading um and so that's a lot nicer. That's a, that's a lot nicer. It's a lot easier on the brain. So I'm going to do the discussion post and write it on my tablet, which is standing up as you guys can see. And I will see what's in store for me for today or tomorrow. Dude, it's two sentences. It is discuss how climate works in a specific location and distinguish it from weather. And then 
what are the major factors at play? I love that. Down and down to the river, you will leave changed. Okay, actually it's not the following day because I was just like, I'm in the mood to do schoolwork, which is weird. And when that mood strikes, you do schoolwork. So I did do the readings, not all of them, but I did the one that was like most heavily focusing on climate. Um, and I put up the discussion post so what I do is I have the discussion post like what I need to do and then this is the website that I got all the information off of so that I can directly quote this stuff in my discussion post I wrote down the climates that this website mentioned and then I chose dry climate so I wrote down kind of like a brief idea of what I want to say so this is like stuff I want to say that I gathered from this college sidekick website and I did spell college wrong ignore that um and then I'm going to also implement these direct quotes into the discussion post but before I can write up this I need to finish the readings and see if there's any other good information um but just in case you know I'm reading and I'm like none of this is working I have stuff and information to base my discussion post on. That's kind of like my mindset. I'm like, I found what I needed to to write a decent discussion post. So now I can read the rest of the information and not worry too much about taking down notes. If I read something and I'm like, ooh, that would be perfect in my discussion post, then I will add it to the notebook on my tablet but if I don't um that's okay because I have plenty of information here I know it doesn't look like a lot but boy can I get wordy so <laughs> so I can make this and once I like actually put it on the discussion post I'll show you how many words it is and kind of show you like what it looks like and you'll see that it will be a significant significant discussion post um and I'll like actually format it, write it out, and put together. It'll probably be about 300 words if I had to guess, 250 to 300. We'll see how accurate that is. <laughs> so yeah, I just decided that I wasn't ready to not do schoolwork and I wanted to work on this. So now I'm kind of like, do I do the rest of the reading or do I go get ready for bed? I should probably go get ready for bed just in case I do have to go in early tomorrow. So I should go get ready for bed. That's what I'm but I was I, I don't really want to go to bed. I just want to continue working on schoolwork. Which is weird. I feel like it's because I'm vlogging. Because I'm vlogging. I'm like, I'm motivated <laughs> to do schoolwork. So, yeah. But that's how I outline my discussion posts. And I will show you the final project. Hi. So, I did not update y'all yesterday because I had a... Surprise, haha, <laughs> no school work got done yesterday on Thursday. So today is now Friday, and this morning I read over the discussion post that I submitted. I was like, I like it, I finished my readings, and I completed week six, except for the discussion post replies, but we, you know, I can't do those until other people do their discussion posts. So now I have week seven and week eight, and what I'm actually going to do is week eight before week seven, because there is a smaller amount of work needed for week eight. Week 8, I just have readings, a discussion post, and a mastery exam. So what I'm going to do is the readings, the discussion post, and then the mastery exam! I know! How, can, how did you imagine that that was going to be the order of which I did them? I know. I'm surprised. So yeah, I'm going to do the readings, the discussion, and the mastery exam right now when I get done with y'all. And then after I do those, I am going to do the two labs for week 7, the mastery exam for week 7 and see what time it is because I have a lot of reading 
a lot of required reading for week eight. So that's going to take me a while. So after I do all of week eight and I do the two labs and the mastery exam for week seven, I will I'll, t I'll check in with you. I'll tell you what time it is. Um, and then I will do the readings and discussion post either today or tomorrow on Saturday. Um, and then all I'll have left is a critical thinking paper. So honestly, getting this done before vacation is super, 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 du super duper doable. And I... I'm excited to be done with it. I want to play video games this weekend. So but since I don't have such a heavy workload, I have the ability to actually enjoy my weekends. Like I can read, I can study languages, I can play video games. It's very nice. And when I have two classes next semester that are going to be intense, I probably will not have that opportunity. So I'm going to enjoy it right now while I can. Um, and let's just get this done, you guys. Let's just get this done. First off, read week eight. Okay, so what I'm currently discovering is I don't fully understand mo uh, module eight's discussion prompt because it says to identify a celestial body smaller than a star in our galaxy, explain what it is, where it is, its size, and how it came to be. Well, I started with an asteroid because that was the first thing in the reading, so I was like, okay, I'm going to take notes on this, and then I was like, but it doesn't exactly say like where it is um so it's like never mind i was like what if i did like the moon and how earth moon is like but granted is earth moon smaller than a, sm a star never mind so then i wrote down meteor meteoroids meter meters meter meteorites meteorites Ooh, i can say it perfectly in my head y'all but i can't say it out loud so then i chose that one and i just where it is is what's really throwing me off. I have its size, I have how it came to be, I have an explanation of what it is, but where it is is really throwing me off. Where it is, are you asking like, so that's kind of why I'm like, do you want something specific, like a specific meter ride that I can't even pronounce? Like, this is the thing about working ahead too, is because I am the first person who is coming in contact with this, so I'm like, if there was somebody else who had already done a reply to this discussion post, I could see how they interpreted it and then interpret it either the same way or be like, oh, I didn't do it that way. You know? And I, instead, I'm here talking to you guys about this problem. So, I'm just going to continue reading and note down stuff for any other of the things I see just in case the meteorite is not what I go with. <laughs> Once again, that took longer than expected. Just remember, you know, you're going to have higher hopes in yourself than you actually can accomplish. But it is now 4 o'clock. Oh my gosh, it's 4 o'clock. Um, I have probably about 40 minutes until dinner. And I want to do everything I said I was going to do today to y'all today. Which means I have 40 minutes until I eat. And I want to be done before then. So I have to do two labs, so 30 minutes of work, and then I'll have, oh, I can do it, right? 30 minutes, 15 minutes a piece for the lab, and then 10 minutes to do the quizzes. I can do it. So I just completed, if you guys take a little look-see here, because you know you trust me when I cross off stuff, I did everything for week eight. My discussion post for week eight came out to be 398 words, and for week six it came out to be, I wrote it down for y'all, 195. So they are about 200 words apart, yeah. But this discussion post, listen y'all, this discussion post took longer than anticipated. Why? Bar four? Um, because I, I had to redo it all. Like, I was going to do it on meteors, but then I was like, I don't know if she wants a specific meteor, right? And so, then I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to do something else. And now I'm not even sure if this is in our galaxy. Like, it said in our galaxy. And I'm like, it was in our textbook. Therefore, it's in our galaxy, right? Y'all... I'm telling you, I'm a math girly, not a stupid science girly. So, I did it on the planet Aries, um, and it's moon, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce. So, I did it on that. That was what my discussion post on was actually on the moon specifically, and how far it is from Earth, and blah, 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 blah. So, I'm going to actually look up one more time, see if I can get any more information on uh, 
that. I'm gonna edit it because I looked it up by like the moon name, by the planet name, and by I did not look it up by the Cooper Cooper belt. So I need to look that up just to double check because I am so anxious about this. Because week eight, I will not be here. I will I won't be here for week seven. Actually, I will be here for week eight. But anyway, I'm gonna look it up one more time and see if I can just double check. I just I'm so nervous about that, right? But I did my mastery exercise. It only took me four attempts to get it to 40. Again, four is my lucky number, apparently. So now it's time to do two labs, a mastery exam, and go put the lasagna back in the oven. Mom and I are having lasagna for tonight. So, yeah, and I've been cooking that because I don't want it work today. So I was here to make it. Anyway, update. The Cooper Belt, fun fact, it is a huge region of space beyond Neptune, but it's in our solar system. So it's one of the largest structures in our solar system, others being the Oort Cloud, the Heliosphere, and the Magnetosphere of Jupiter. Its overall shape is like a puffed up disc or donut. So you know what I'm going to say? Like everything that was just in there is in our galaxy. It is in our solar system. So I think I did good. I just want to be done. Also, I'm kind of like I don't want to be done because I'm taking two really hard net classes next semester, but. Alrighty, here we go. Lab numer, there we go. Numer et, numer n. Y'all, this was the shortest one and I actually really enjoyed it too. So I'm kind of sad it's over, but let's get back to the school and we will move on to the carbon cycle. Alrighty, let's just cross that off and let's get on to this one. And I also have a video uploading right here. Since it's, you know, passive, let's take this quiz. Bum bum bum. Hi. So clearly your girl did not do any school this weekend. She played I'm speaking about myself in the third person, but I played video games for 10 hours. One video game, and it wasn't even Sims, so we've grown. Anyway, today is Monday. I did my readings, I did my discussion post, and now I am working on the essay due not this week, but the week I am gone. Yes, week seven, the next week, and I have tonight to write it and tomorrow to work on it because I won't be here Wednesday. I won't be here Thursday. I won't be here Friday because we drive to Denver. So my mom and I are going on town Wednesday and Thursday for different doctor's appointments and whatnot. So I got today, tomorrow morning because I have, I have Bible study at the night and then maybe Wednesday night. Depending. I don't know if, I think, I think Wednesday night we're driving out of town and we're staying the night. So I don't even have time Wednesday night. So, basically, I gotta write a paper in seven hours, give or take, right? Because I work tomorrow afternoon in Bible study so I don't have a lot of time. So, what's the paper on? The paper is on some sort of natural disaster. I have to choose a natural disaster and write a, page, write a two to three page essay on it really, really freaking easy by the sounds of it. And so I pulled up this ad riddled page that my teacher recommended. It's this 13, um, the biggest natural disasters. And I'm reading through it and then opening in another tab, like the ones I think I want to write my paper on. So far, this is the only one that's intrigued me just because it's from like a century ago, right? A millennia is a million years. A century, cent yeah, okay. A century. Look at the brain is working. Anyway, that's the update. I have a pretty good idea that my uh, paper is going to be on the Gal, the Great Galveston Storm of 1900, because it sounds really interesting. I'm um, not gonna lie. And at this point, since I have 17 hours, it's got, or not 17, since I have like seven hours. I gotta be interested in the topic. So, anyway, that's the update. It is 3.37. My mom gets home soon. <sighs> yeah, I forgot that I wouldn't have Wednesday to work on this. <laughs> it's honestly, it's not gonna be that difficult because it's two to three pages. So, 
you know, it's not going to be too difficult, but of course I am a little, I'm not stressed yet, actually. The stress hasn't hit me yet. I'm just like, I have to write a paper. No, that's where I am. That's where I am right now. Okay, so it is now 8 o'clock. <laughs> it's actually 7.52, but it's 8 o'clock. And I just finished the first draft of my paper. Obviously, I haven't been working on it all night. I had dinner. I went and got groceries with my mom and gas and all of that fun stuff. But the first draft is complete. Now, it kind of, like, tumbles off here at the end, you know. But, like, that's what first drafts do do so I'm going to go and get ready for bed and then tomorrow before I go to work or after I come home from Bible study before I go to work more more likely I will read over it and edit it revise it um, make it sound beautiful and perfect as perfect as I can get it and then I will submit it but I will check in with y'all when I do that, because I know, I know I'm going to reread this stupid paper, like, 17 times before I turn it in, because that's the type of student I am, so, yeah, and I need to read over it, and edit all of it, and then read over it, and check that it has everything that's required in it, I need to add an image, and then talk about the image in the paper, which, I don't know what image I'm going to do, that's tomorrow's problem, but I am so close to being done. I don't feel like I'm almost done. I actually, I did write it on the Galveston hurricane of, of 1900. And that is like a tragic story of egos in science, how they do not mix. It would have fit perfectly. Like I can like see it in Sam Keen's The Ice Pick Surgeon. It's not as bloody. Like it's bloody. There's like 12,000 deaths. But it's not like as gory as the stuff in that book. And it's not like as evil as what the scientists in that book did, but this would fit very well with that entire theme. And that's a fantastic book. Y'all should totally go read it. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for bed. So, we see us tomorrow. We see us tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It is the following morning, and I just submitted the draft to check the Turnitin percentage. And now I just need to reread it and reread it and reread it to make sure there's no mistakes in the actual paper. And look, I did get an image. I actually, the source I found this from was really interesting. Um, so if you haven't actually done any research on the Galveston storm of 1900, I totally recommend y'all doing it because it's really interesting. All right, with everything here marked off and a 15% on my paper, it is time to give this sucker one more reread, or two if I find a mistake, or three if I find a mistake on the second read. Anyway, however many reads it takes to not notice a mistake, and then turn it in, and then I'll be done, which is crazy. I did it with like zero time to spare. Actually, this morning I still had like an hour and a half. I could have worked on it if I needed to, but y'all, your girl did it. She finished her schoolwork before she left. Of the, I mean, when you work with like CSU, saying like you finished the schoolwork, the schoolwork is kind of like, did you though? Because you still have to do discussion replies, but that can take like 12, 15, 20 minutes. So like in the grand scheme of things, yeah, I finished. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And so now I get to go on vacation without any, any worries. Well, I'm still going to worry, but then I'll forget about the worries like when I'm on the cruise and I'll be like, ha, <laughs> I'll come back and be like, oh crap, did I turn that in, right? I turned that in. I'm a little bit like neurotic. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I got home from Bible study and I was like, I gotta film my outro. If you're wondering, it went well. Um, and I am so happy that I'm done with my schoolwork. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please ignore the half unmade bed because it's I, I only half on make it to sleep aka I only sleep with one blanket and I sleep on top of the other one so it was like nice and easy to make but I didn't realize y'all could see it <laughs>
this this outro is chaotic but what's new with moi so yeah i'm going to go i love you all so much thanks for watching if you have any questions about csu about online college about anything in my life leave them down below and maybe i'll do a q a and if i don't get enough then i'll just i'll just answer them i like comments so feel free to comment anyway adios au revoir salut hey do goodbye and i'll see y'all in the next one mm -hmm.